uh, why you cannot predict the bulk uh, concentration? Because uh, in order to have the redox reaction at the electrode, the, your species have to undergo a lot of process. So let's uh, we'll talk about something called pathway of the electrode reaction. So now let's consider this. So this should be your solution. <coughs> and then uh, this is your electrode again. Now let's uh, talk in the reduction, which means that you have your oxidized species or your oxidized species can receive the electron, N electron from the electrode and convert itself to be the reduced form or reduced species R. So what has to, ha what has to, have, what has to happen? So the first step is that your species, your own species from the bulk solution have to undergo the mass transfer, have to undergo the mass transfer to come close to the electrode. So that's the first uh, step. The second step is that your O, which is close to the electrode, must have the appropriate, chem uh, appropriate chemical condition or chemical form so sometimes this or must undergo the chemical reaction. Maybe some reaction will, uh, will maybe some reaction prefer it to be protonated or deprotonated or cyclization, something like that. So that's the random uh, chemical reaction. So you have to like convert it to the appropriate chemical form. After that, uh, your species in order to receive or give the electrons, your species must, must be really adjacent to the electrode. So, it must, so in uh, this kind of closed area, it's gonna be adsorption. Your uh, electrode will adsorb your species here. So now your species is gonna on the, be on the electrode surface. And once it's uh, adjacent to the electrode surface, then it can exchange the electrons with the electrode by the applied potential. So in this uh, diagram, we are describing uh, reduction, right? So you are all will receive the electron and electrons from the electrode to convert it to be R. And maybe R time because that's in the, uh, some chemical form. And once, every, once you convert from O and R, then your R here is gonna, gonna uh, go back, come back to the bulk solution by this uh, a uh, similar process, it has to be dissolved from the electrode. And then it may undergo some chemical conversion or chemical reaction to be R, and then it will undergo the mass transfer back to the bulk solution. So uh, here you can see that there are, there are many processes in order to let to convert O to R at the electrode. And we, some, and we usually call the couple, the OR redox couple, the OR couple as a redox couple, like copper two plus two copper, maybe we can call this a redox couple. So again, your species must undergo mass transfer, chemical reaction and adsorption before it can exchange the electron at the electrode. And then once it converts to be R, then it can have the desorption, chemical reaction and mass transfer. And if your if your species if your redox couple is reversible, if it's reversible, it means that R can convert back to O as well. Like so, R can undergo this process and then give the electron to the electrode to be converted to O by oxidation and then come back in this process as well. So this is the pathway of electrode reaction, and this is kind of important uh, figures. Why do we care about the pathway of electrode reaction? Like, what, what, what does it matter? We have many processes going on. So it, it turns out that if we uh, went back to the gem chem, to your gem chem, or even your P chem, I think you have learned the chemical kinetics, right? And then, you know, the rate of chemical reaction, I think you have learned about the rate of chemical reaction before. And one, uh, one thing that you have learned is that the slowest uh, step, if the reaction occurs through the several steps, then the slowest step will dictate the chemical reaction rate, the rate of, electro the rate of chemical reaction. So here, same thing. 
we have several process here, right? And the rate of overall redox reaction is going to be determined by the slowest step. The slowest step. For example, if your mass transfer is the slowest step, it means that the overall reaction here is going to be dictated by the rate of the mass transfer. If your adsorption is the slowest step, it means that your electron transfer rate is going to be determined by the adsorption rate, something like that. And because of the reaction kinetics and the slowness of the reaction, that's why uh, that's why the uh, predict, re predicted concentration sometimes is not equal to the one that we have done in the first example, the Nernst equation thing. The Nernst equation usually uh, accurate if uh, this process occurs fast enough, but that shouldn't. That usually is not the case. It's, it has some some uh, some slow step so that your non equation is not accurate enough. So now we can see that uh, the species have to undergo several process. And we are, I already uh, tell that the slowest step de determines the rate of overall uh, reaction. And the non equation may not be accurate because each step may require more, may, more energy to drive the electro uh, reaction. And those energy can be like the electrical energy or other kind of energy. And there are two, uh, two types of this extra energy. The first type, we call it concentration polarization, or sometimes, concent sometimes we can use concentration over potential. So potential, it's obviously electrical potential, right? So over means that you have to add more potential, something like this. So basically, this concentration polarization uh, means that uh, it is the limited rate of the mass transfer. Concentration polarization is the limited rate of the mass transfer. In contrast, the activation polarization is the limited rate of, limited rate of the electron transfer. So now we are talking about two steps that can be slow, the mass transfer and the electron transfer. If the mass transfer is slow, then we can say that the reaction have the concentration over potential or concentration polarization. If the electron transfer step is uh, slow, then we can call it that it has the activation polarization or activation over potential. And concentration polarization is by the mass transfer. It means that if we can enhance the rate of mass, for mass transfer, it means that we decrease the concentration polarization. On the other hand, if we can enhance the rate of electron transfer here, it means that we can decrease the activation over potential or activation polarization. And because every, almost every single reaction have both concentration polarization and activation polarization, uh, this makes like Nernst equation to be like not accurate anymore, like in terms of the bulk concentration. 